Hello everyone, I hope you keeping well and I hope you all are healthy and safe. So right, today is gonna be a backhand video, right? So we're gonna try to make conscious the backhand technique, at least the, the mechanics, what you should do in terms of, of the mechanics of the shot, how to apply in a correct way uh, the correct mechanics. Again, we're not gonna have a look at the grips, we're not gonna have a look at, uh, at the swing because for me it's not, uh, it's not essential, you know? Especially when, when you're practicing with no ball, okay? More or less, all of you have the level to know what's the right grip and what's not a great grip on the backhand side. Let's say for 200 backhand, you know, a good chopper grip on your good hand, a good Easter forehand on your non-good hand, if it's one-handed backhand, uh, you should know like going around your forehand is not great. Yeah, at least, at least chopper grip. Chopper grip is not great for those who learn, you know, 30, 40 years ago. Probably that's the grip they taught you, but I recommend you to go around a bit more, turn around that hand and get a bit. Uh, uh, more extreme grip on your back and side. So now let's go. We're gonna do 100 back and 200 back and together because again, the principles and the basics are the same. In fact, they are the same in every shot of tennis. So in the forehand, we were saying uh, strong hips, shoulders, and arm turn together to the side and then swing. So basically, coil and uncoil everything and there is no difference the backhand side is exactly the same doesn't matter 100 or 200 backhand in fact in every shot in tennis the principles are the same ball a the same serve the same but we're gonna see those in the next uh, few days now backhand let's start 200 backhand okay here yeah, have a good grip good ready position athletic okay stay athletic don't stay extremely low, just stay in an, a good athletic, comfortable position. And again, try to put your attention in your hips, trunk and shoulders, okay? Now, 200 backhand, we have the advantage that both arms are locked. So you don't need to pay that much attention to the arm because the arm has to turn, yeah? Because obviously the arms are attached to the racket. So uh, it's not like in the forehand or even will be 100 backhand uh, that you really need to pay attention to your non-dominant arm because it has to keep turning. In the 200 backhand, you don't have that problem because the arms are on the racket. So again, try to put your attention in your hips or pelvic area, trunk, okay? That uh, abdominal area and shoulders, let's say uh, below your, uh, your uh, neck this imagine you have a line shoulder to shoulder okay and everything needs to turn at the same time and from there release okay again don't worry about your follow through just try to focus turn everything imagine a ball coming to you imagine that contact point contact the ball and then keep extending that through the ball okay so you gotta at some point for a nice follow through what I tell a lot to my students that really works well is like imagine you have no strings on that racket and you want to pass the ball through your strings then you're gonna have a nice extension in that follow through and that's what we want okay so again turn step in for the first ones contact point and follow through so we're gonna do it together today we're gonna do it in a static like we're doing now just to get that muscle memory going on and then after we're gonna do it we're gonna apply the dynamic which is moving a bit more mixing up stances imagining white balls short balls okay so now for the 100 backhand is completely the same 100 backhand is a bit more difficult because there are more limbs involved as i told you 200 backhand both arms are locked in the racket 100 backhand yeah you start with the non-dominant hand on the throw of the racket yeah but at some point you release it so 
you need to have a nice coordination on that non-dominant R. But if you do the mechanics properly, that will come on its own, natural and easy. Yeah, it's not like you are here open and then. So if you do this, uh, if you try this at home, you try it open. You will see just swing the racket and you will see how you know the the limbs are kind of uh, crossing each other and it doesn't feel really uh, you know really connected and linked but again have a good ready position then you turn everything keep strong and shoulders to the side okay also keep the non-dominant hand on your racket here turn keep the non-dominant hand and then release you will see how everything is connected properly you will see how everything flows in a nice way the arms doesn't cross so for one hand the backhand very important here have a good ready position be athletic and now focus your attention on turning the pelvic area trunks and shoulder okay try to lock your arms as well turn everything to the side always uh, your eyes trying to obviously as we are not on court we don't have a ball coming in but try to focus your your view in something fixed in front of you i don't know now again if you are in the mirror practicing in front of the mirror try to look to yourself if not something that you have in front of you to keep to to avoid that head turning yeah because that's a very common mistake then you lose the ball so always everything rotates yeah, in a transversal plane from uh, hips to below your neck, but your head should still facing forward. Okay, so here we go. Turn, eyes on the target, and then swing and release again. Yeah, turn and release. Two hundred backhand again. The same. Turn, face looking to the target, eyes looking to the target and then swing, stepping in. For the static uh, uh, static exercise, what you, you can do is uh, uh, stepping in all the time, because obviously you're not moving in terms of stances. So whether one-handed or two-handed backhand, turn, and then you can step your dominant leg in front. If you are right-handed, will be your right leg. If you are left-handed, obviously it's gonna be your left leg, okay? So for one-handed backhand, the same. Here, turn and step inside right uh, and again it's very simple it's exactly the same principles forehand and backhand okay but you gotta do it it's not enough by knowing it oh I know the principles turn hips trunk shoulders it's not as easy as knowing it now you need a good uh, a good muscle mind connection yeah you need to give those orders to your body to turn and then the next step will be doing that on court for the, the, the dynamic exercise we're gonna do again have a bottle of water you know a cone whatever put the bottle somewhere around here and whether it's one handed backhand or two handed backhand start to do some some sets okay start to do some let's see the distance somehow yeah we start to do some imagine different kind of balls okay here turn swing try always to recover in front again good split good athletic ready position yeah here we go you can the backhand here open swing again close face looking to the target eyes looking to the target here open okay and here transfer a step you can do as many kind of footworks as you want again don't focus a lot on the footwork focus on the kind of balls you want to hit okay white balls slow balls slow balls and the footwork will come naturally now uh, on 100 backhand 100 backhands we tend to hit or i personally have 200 backhand but through my experience as a coach i see 100 backhands no hit too much in open stance because uh, requires a lot of strength and in one handed backhand we have less strength yeah so one handed backhands what you usually do is when there is a a big white ball they do a big step across swing and then transfer okay i don't know if you can see here so white cross contact 
after the contact when you transfer, okay? That finish was in great here, close, and then transfer. Transfer your energy to the side. Or you can still do nowadays, as we see on the tour, like Team, Shapovalov, they start because they're so strong physically that they start to hit a lot of 100 backhands in open stands and they still can do it. Tennis is evolving every day, so you know, practice absolutely everything, okay? Uh, again, main thing here, yeah, hips, trunk, and shoulders and arm, okay? Turn everything and swing forward, all right? Well, I hope it helped. Keep yourself safe and healthy, okay? More videos coming soon, always serve, some food work patterns for the ones who like food work, realistic food work, and uh, yeah, more stuff coming up, guys. You take care.